Amazon gets set to report its second quarter earnings after the bell on Thursday the 25th of July. While revenue growth is expected to slow, historically profits tend to beat the street. According to Bloomberg, EPS is seen hitting $5.58 and revenues coming in at $62.43 billion. That represents sales towards the top end of management's own guidance. Looking back to the first quarter, profits flew past consensus estimates. However, its earnings guidance was lighter than expected because of an $800 million investment to give free one-day delivery shipping to Prime members. And revenue saw its slowest expansion since the start of 2015. Its two-day Prime sale in mid-July could be important for improving sales growth, although the company is unlikely to disclose the breakdown in its earnings. According to CNBC citing analysts, it could bring in up to $6 billion in sales. This quarter, analysts are likely to focus on the Amazon Web Services Division's revenue. This is its cloud computing business, which posted a 41% growth in sales last quarter. AWS could be critical to Amazon's future success as it represents about half of its total operating income. In terms of the analyst community, there's huge optimism towards this stock, with just one seller, one analyst on neutral, and 52 buyers. Checking in on the chart, since the trough in 2016, the stock is up by more than 300%, and from the December trough, it's up by 50%. We can see this ascending trend line from the lows at the end of 2018, with higher highs and higher lows. We're inching closer back up to that all-time high from September. If we push above that level, 2050-25, that would act as a bullish indication for the share price. However, beware that there could be some resistance at or even just below that level. Meanwhile, for support, keep an eye on the most recent trough down at 1677.66, although that is a considerable way below where we are for now. For more videos like these, subscribe to our YouTube channel, IGUK, and follow us on Twitter at IGTV.